Okay, you're on. <clears throat> Hi everybody, Richard Michael Owen here in Carmel by the Sea. I'm doing my first event in two years since 2019. This is the Carmel by the Sea Concourse on the Avenue. I'm really excited to see some cars you know that other people have been working, putting their heart and soul into. Maybe find some British cars, who knows? But yeah, this is gonna be fun. Gonna be a big day here in Carmel. Let's see what shows up. Here's the cars lined up. What do we got? Let's have a look. Oh, a big Cobra there. Wow, got some beautiful looking Cobras. Alfa Romeo. Looks like a Comp Cobra. Wow. Lots of great shapes. It's like things are happening here. Their car's going into the show. my first e-type beautiful fixed head bias ply tires blue on red amazing There's one car here that has my heart, restored by my friend Rob. It's a six-cylinder Alfa Romeo post-war with a custom body by Ghia. It is amazing. Love these hubcaps. <laughs> yeah, this should be best to show for sure. It's amazing. Two toned, love the color scheme. Old Michelin tires. Wow, this looks like it's gonna be a great show. There's a TBR going through there. Yeah, this is gonna be a good day. Wow, look at this Ferrari. Whew. Short nose, amazing. To me, this is like the quintessential Ferrari Fastback V12. Wow, I love it. Short nose and silver, splendid.
Here's that awesome cobra we saw roll in. Wow, that's a lot of engine for this car. Whoa. I love this kind of stuff. Full complement of British gauges. What's the green? It's a CSX 3018. And it's a factory competition 427. All right, let's have a look at this 22,000 mile original paint E-Type Survivor. Tons of original details. You know, I'm pretty familiar with these cars. Uh, let's have a look. Here, let's have a look under the hood of this really, really original 63 fixed head, opalescent blue with original red interior. Pretty amazing car. Gentlemen's gonna let us see under the hood. Love it. So what do we got? What do we got? Look at that, it looks like an original California delivery car, see J63. Wow. Oh, you can see the original radiator still in this car. That's really rare. That is really rare. Yeah. And, and it cools reasonably well, even without a pusher fan. We'll know tomorrow. Yeah. yeah we'll know. <laughs> wow, looks really nice oh, under here. That. carbs it looks like the original washer bottle and motor that's nice yeah, to see it is original wiring loom we don't even know if anyone's ever put fluid on it yeah that's neat oh and see the original marking from the factory here the body number four five four six that's really cool love to see stuff like that looks like the original asbestos there and the brake bottle holder see the suspension Still in its cadmium. Wow, this car is preserved exceptionally well. Amazing, amazing Jaguar E-Type. I'm in love. What do you guys think? Wow. Wow, look at this 140 that's just pulled up. That sneaky cooling fan's coming out. Nice touch. Looks like C-Type head in there. Original wiring harness. Original style radiator. Love the wood in these things. White on cream, just an amazing color combo. Look in the trunk here. Yeah, what a lovely piece. It's okay. Look at that. Yeah, this is a uh, TVR. We've yeah. seen you for a long time. Well, not since uh, years, yeah. Beautiful. 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 Yeah. Gentlemen's going to let us see under the hood of this really amazing TVR. <laughs> Big clamshell hood. I think it's going to pivot forward. Before the music, before the music. Oh, neat. Look at that. Look at the frame I put two in there. Oh, okay. Give it a little more horsepower. So yeah, it's about yeah. probably 50. A little Ford engine in there? Yeah, Ford engine. We, we built a custom intake manifold <laughs> through the through the, <laughs> the original chassis tag there. Oh, yeah. That's really neat. It's for real. You can see the fiberglass splash awesome. panels. Oh, yeah. All Pro fiberglass Volkswagen. Pretty rudimentary suspension. suspension. That's a Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Wow. Yep. And the radiator hiding down in there, Austin, the little thing. Austin Healy brakes. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Drum brakes. <laughs> so is awesome. This, is this a 109 or 105? This is a 105. So yeah, 105. It's a 997. 997. And look at the original interior in this thing. Pretty amazing. Look at the signal in the middle of the steering wheel. Full complement of gauges here, Smiths. Yeah. Really small little fastback cabin, tiny bucket seats. Yeah. Is that awesome? Very cool. See the door panel here? Little cubby. Yeah, Amazing little TVR. 
Love this little clip on mirror here, stadium made in England. All the original waist seal and the chrome on the top of the door finisher there. You see the weave of the fiberglass in the paint. That's really neat. Just an amazing little TBR. What is this? Okay, let's see some wild here. <laughs> so that's the car on the cover of Classic Car Weekly. That's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Great Does spread the whole there. Story on it. Yeah, Grand design. That's all about it. It's that looks really cool. neat. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. Third, third of this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, thanks for bringing it out. Yes, thank you guys. Some heavy metal rolling in. Love the color combo on that Dodge. Yeah, I have a bit of a soft spot for minis. I learned to drive on a mini, and my first car was a mini. Um, I just find them a little too small to drive on everyday roads now. But this is exactly what I wanted when I was a teenager. An Austin Cooper S. Perfect with the white roof. Lovely little cars. Got some race cars coming in from Laguna Seca. Looks like some Porsches. Let's soak in some details under the engine bay of this gorgeous six-cylinder Alfa Romeo. So much to see. First off, we got the finned exhaust manifold and the magneto generator unit down there with that interesting drive off the timing. One thing I really love too is the fuel pump sticking up way high here off the timing gear. The three filters, got the little cute distributor poking there and the cloth wrapped ignition wires, the loom holder. Just love the way this is laid out. Yeah, Rob and the guys at RX do such a good job. Look at all the hose clamps and everything. Looks like the original washer bottle. Yeah, pretty amazing. Then just slide over, and this interior is just a dream. Look at the bake light knobs and the wrap steering wheel. I love this thing. One of the most amazing Alfa Romeos in the world. A lot of great Cobras here today. Oh yeah, here we go, and an Aston Martin rolling in, DB4, my kind of car. Look at that, birch racing green, big Corella fog lights up front. Terrific. Oh wow, look at this early split window Porsche. Let's have a close look. Yeah, loving the presentation of this early split window Porsche. It's so clean and wonderful. All the decals and fits and finishes look very, very nice. Super concourse car. I mean, just look at the door panel and the wood here. The gentleman tells me it's original. And the interior with the, the plastic steering wheel and all the gauges, it's just total split window perfection. Pretty amazing looking low drag here. Wow, that's nice. Such an elegant shape. Totally different than the fixed head. This car is spectacular. It is just the essence of the Porsche shape and beautifully presented. And it, it's a photograph, it's a photograph in of itself. Rich Cunningham, I think if I remember right, disputed it because the car was so much quicker 
I think they made him run it a second time, and then I think Briggs maybe bought a 356 when he found out the reason why the little car won is because it was so light and the wheelbase was so suited to it, but they didn't believe it, the performance in the beginning, because it had this tiny motor again compared to the American car. Oh, look at this. Hey, thanks. This is a 1964 Ford Galaxy 500, 427 lightweight, very, very good car, owned by John Pruitt. Now, John, I... Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, John. Follow the fellow with the flag, and watch out, there's a fast car coming. Yeah, these lightweight Galaxies are really, really something special. Is Cindy Lopez Frank here? Is Cindy Lopez Frank? Ah, here she comes. It's a 1955 white Jaguar XK140 FHC SE owned by Jeffrey. Congratulations, Jeffrey. of the chief class judges selected from the first in class winners presented by Mr. Denny Levette himself co-owner of the Cypress Inn with the late Doris Day and longtime classic car collector and enthusiast and he wins the hat award once again and this is a 1950 absolutely Denny this is an awesome car I think you got it Al Alfa Romeo 6C 2500 CSS Oh, there you go. Super All right, there we are. Best of show 2021 Carmel Concourse on the Avenue. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later. Bye bye.